Hello, I am Saurabh, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I am going to show you how to list the active Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud resources using AWS Systems Manager Automation document and then delete or terminate the active resources. Let's get started. Before we start, let's check the AWS regions where the active EC2 resources are present by checking your monthly billing and cost management console. Open the Billing and Cost Management console from your primary account. Then, select the Elastic Compute Cloud option. Here, you can see the AWS regions where the EC2 resources are located, along with the name of the resources. Now, we use the AWS Support List EC2 Resources AWS Systems Manager Automation document to list the active EC2 resources. This automation document returns information on EC2 instances and related resources, such as Amazon Elastic Block Store Volumes, Elastic IP Addresses, and Amazon EC2 Autoscaling Groups from the AWS regions that you specify. By default, the information is gathered from all regions and appears in the output. To run the document, follow these steps. In the AWS Management Console, open the Systems Manager service. From the left navigation pane, under Change Management, choose Automation. In the Execution section, select Execute Automation. In the Search Automation document tab, search for AWS Support List EC2 Resources and then select the document. The next page provides you all the information about the document and the API calls that will be performed in your AWS account. Select Execute Automation. Next. In the Execute the Automation document page, select the type of execution. Here, I will select Simple Execution. Below, choose the appropriate selection for input parameters and tags. And then, select Execute. Next, find the executed steps and their status. In the Execution Status section, check that the overall status is success. After the status has changed to success, select the Outputs tab. You will see the resources associated with the EC2 instances along with the regions where the resources are present. Now, to terminate the resources, follow these steps. After you identify the resources from the Output section, go ahead and delete the unnecessary resources. I will terminate the autoscaling group Frankfurt underscore ASG residing in EU Central 1 region. In the EC2 service page on the AWS console, select the Autoscaling Groups option located in the left navigation pane. Select the desired autoscaling group and choose Delete. All the EC2 instances launched under this autoscaling group will be terminated. You can check the AWS Cost and Usage Report or AWS Cost Explorer to confirm that the resources are no longer generating charges. So now you know how to use the AWS Systems Manager Automation document to list all the active EC2 resources and then terminate them. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.